Greetings programs, it is I the CPU001 and welcome back to Dragon's Age ah, Origin. And we have spent the last episode slowly working our way up through this tower and I'm hoping, yes, this is the top floor. Wonderful. Okay, let us light us a signal fire. Oh, or find something gigantic in here. I'm eating! Leave me alone! Fine. Are you? <laughs> Joy. Anything else in here? No. Wonderful. Hi, big fella. Why am I not me? Oh, yes, I am me. Yeah. Oh, good grief. You do that, huh? Ow! Please stop doing that. Rude. Woo. Ah ha. Ow. Oh my goodness, you are very rude. I need to stop doing that. Alistair's in trouble. Uh, Alistair, have a drink. Nice fella. Please have a drink. Ah! Or don't. Fine. Okay, that's very bad. That's ridiculously bad. And... Uh, well, that's, that's bad in so many levels. Well, this could have gone better. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get you have a drink. Uh, let's have you have a drink. Please have a drink. I need to drink as well. Oh, Lord. Oh, the mage is dead. Oh, the mage dying, the mage dying, the mage dying. Let's save the mage. Quickly, we must go and save the mage. You! Ah, how? Hey, really is after that mage, huh? Leave the mage alone. Surely you're joking. No, 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 no. Oh no, that's the other guy. That's not the mage. That's the guard, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, drink up, fella. Ow. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Uh, my turn to have a drink. Nap, daga, daga, daga. Well, there goes all our health potions. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Go, Guardman! Huh. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh! Oh, Go, Tower Guard! Go, Go, Tower Guard! Wow! The beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Yeah, whoop. Let's see what you got just real quick so that I can... Light it quickly. Light it, light it, light it. <laughs> Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not? Do as I command. Pull out! All of you, let's move!
Conquered Ferelden in 824. Blessed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Oh, what happened to the dog's point? I remember you. You're the girl from the wild. Uh, yes. Where am I? Uh, the girl from the wild. Where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Wait, what happened to the army? To the king? I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Uh, she rescued me? You mean from the tower? Uh, I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Yeah. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. You mean, Alistair, what happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? Neither am I. This is horrible. I need to get out of here. Neither am I. Of that I have no doubt. Your friend has been inconsolable since Mother told him the news. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I will go then. Why does your mother want to see me uh, when my injury is severe? I have some questions if you don't mind. Thank you for your helping, uh, Morrigan. Uh, yeah. I do oh. not mind. Take your time. I think I have some questions. Are we safe here as a dark spawn? Why did your mother save us? How did she manage to rescue us exactly? Are there any survivors besides us? How did she rescue us? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. <laughs> if you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. <laughs> um, I think I've asked enough I questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. Yes. Yoink. I'm gonna steal all your stuff, okay? Bye. <laughs> um, yeah, so Alistair's not all gonna right. be a very happy bunny. <laughs> Let's go find Alistair and see how freaked out he is. Yeah, here he is. Okay, he's not freaking out, but he's not see, happy. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm not thanks to Morgan's mother. Afraid you were going to be left alone. I'm afraid I... I'm fine. Appreciate your concern. It takes more than a few ducks born to kill me. I'm afraid you'll be left alone. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Who cares what she is, we need to do something now, so why did you save us? If you're Flemeth, you must have be very old and powerful. 
Oh, we can't be safe here. Or the dark spawn, I suppose we should thank you. Let's at least thank her. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. <laughs> uh, we need to stop the blight anyhow, somehow. Uh, is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, go with that. <laughs> All that I wish you to do is what you are meant to do. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It changed when most of them were slaughtered. The Grey Wardens are no more. Let someone else do it. And it's hardly united thanks to Loghain. Uh, of course not. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Uh, we need to find this Archdemon. Why is he, what is the Archdemon exactly? Alistair is the real great warden here, not me. Uh, will you help us fight this Blight, Flemeth? Uh, we should contract the rest of the great wardens. Could the Tyrion hold to gain by betraying the king? Um, let's go with... Um, will you help us? Me. I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and dark spawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the dark spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If our Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Arl Eamon? Is that someone important? Perhaps we could go to him then. You think the Arl would be... would believe us over the Terran? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies we could call on. That sounds like an excellent idea. Keep in mind that Logan was also an honourable man. Everyone will see the danger the Blight poses, right? And say he doesn't help us, then what? Uh, let's go with four. You could wait for the Archdemon to make its appearance. I imagine that might be convincing. Mm -hmm. It's been centuries since the last blight. Nobody will take it seriously until it's too late. Uh, sure, there are other allies we can call on. We need the rest of the Ray Wardens, and there's nothing we can do then, is there? We'll find a way. It's up to us, after all. Sure, there's other of allies? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? No, why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? As long as there's some profit in it. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I doubt it would be that easy. Why not? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. As ready as we'll ever be. I'd be happy with just staying alive. I don't suppose you could offer any more help. Yes, thank you for everything, Flemeth. Uh, we're going old woman, don't push us. <laughs> um, thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. What makes you think she wants. What do we think's won her? Thank you, but if Morrigan doesn't wish to join us. <laughs> um, yeah. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens. Consider this repayment for your lives. <laughs> well, we'll take us with. We'll take her with us. As was this our idea all along? She had better be useful, as you say. She's Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? 
Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Uh, we don't need her help. She won't come to with us. She won't come to any harm with us. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. <laughs> I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> Should get underway. No, I prefer you to speak your mind. I have no problem with your presence if Alistair doesn't. I actually have some questions. <laughs> I prefer you to speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. <laughs> Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all the help we can get. Oh, get over yourself, Alistair. Nah, not really. <laughs> we need all the help we can I get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go on. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> Isn't she a lovely, slightly creepy old lady? <laughs> oh, right, let's have a look through my stuff. Right, okay, we, we need healing stuff. Definitely need healing potions where we get a chance. Um, Dwarf War Axe Grey Iron. Um, hmm. Main Hand, War Axe, Main Hand. Main Hand, Daggers, Balance, Long Sword, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I could wear you now, can't I? Cool. Let's stick you on my head. Where's my head gone? Sorry, couldn't resist. Mm. Uh, bish, bish, bish. Uh, ooh, 22 strength. Shinies, shinies. Right, Alistair. I think I've got some stuff for you. Uh, no, I don't. Ooh, chainmail 425. No. Ooh, there goes my dog. Probably can't hear it, so that's alright. Uh, can you use that shield? Where is that shield? No, you can't use it yet. 22 strength. Okay. Uh, defense. No, I don't have a better shield for you at the moment. Do you have a second set of... No, you don't have a second set of weapons. Hi, sweetie. I've got a stick you might find useful. Where is it? Where is that stick? There it is. Uh, plus one spell power, plus five spirit damage. Uh, requires magic, magic 18. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. Plus one spell power. I've actually got a funny feeling what Morrigan has is better. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird and slightly unexpected. She doesn't have a second weapon, does she? No. Uh, Morgan's robes. Eh, I haven't got much else for you, I don't think. Journeyman lightning rune. Weapon rune. Ooh, pretty. Some quartz. Stuff. Right, cool. Okay, I think we will call it there, because I think my next job 
is the blights, yes, the arl. Uh, Paragon of Arkine, Paragon of Arkine, Nature of Battle, gain cooperation with the Dolish, and gather the mages of the circle for your army. Cool. Okay. Oh, Alice has got a level. Let's quickly do this. Um, let's give you another point of constitution, strength, and uh, let's give you a dexterity level. Uh, let's max out map combat mastery and let's go down to right, what do you need there? Strength 25, no. Uh, shield defense. Uh, yeah, let's get you shield defense. I'll do. Lovely. Right. Okie dokie. We are on our way. We have a plan, or the starts of a plan. Gather the races together and try and convince them that there's something really terrible coming our way. Well, we will try and do that in the next episode. I will see you all again next time. This is the CBU001 signing out. Have a good day. Bye!